Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. On today's feature, we're reviewing an application called Loom, which allows you to screen record and quickly send it to another person. Now there are so many productivity benefits of an application like this. I actively use it as one of my tools day to day and have found it really interesting. And I thought I'd share it with you guys, giving you a guide of the application. Now, before we dive in guys, a big thanks to our sponsor, Here's a little bit more about that. So this video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. Now, if you're waiting for the impending release of macOS Catalina, then you'll want to be ready and organized. Now, Clean My Mac X is a powerful way to do just that. You can clean up your storage, files, and improve the speed of your CPU using this application. It does a smart scan, allowing you to get a report on all of the things that are slowing down your Mac, and you can get actionable steps on how to improve that just by clicking a few buttons. It's really, really powerful. I've used this application in the past, and it's been very valuable in terms of improving the speed of my Mac. Now, as you can imagine, there are a few things that I particularly like about it. The uninstaller is a fantastic feature. If you wanna get rid of some old applications that you no longer use, you can use the batch uninstaller. The same with large files as well. Get rid of those big files that are taking up the massive amount of room, especially when I'm editing. Now, there is also a menu bar, which I really like. If you go up to the top, you can open this menu bar. And what's cool is it will give you like the Mac health. So you can actually see everything from your battery life to the CPU at that current moment in real time. And that's quite a nice little open window so that you can see how your Mac is getting on. Now you can get a license for Clean My Mac for $39.95 for the annual subscription. And you can also get a free trial to test out its powers available in the description below. But I really enjoy using Clean My Mac, so I recommend it highly. And I think you guys really enjoy it too. So a big thank you to Clean My Mac for sponsoring September 2019. So guys, here we are with Loom for Mac. Now, to start, you can download Loom for desktop, so Windows, uh, also on Mac, and on Chrome as well, if you don't necessarily uh, need the full screen, just need to record inside the browser, then that's totally fine. Now, the application is free, and as you can see here, Loom is available through the menu bar on Mac at least, and it's very simple. It allows you to either record your screen or your camera, or both at the same time, like we're doing here. But what it essentially does is it allows you to make recordings that you can send to other people. Now, the reason why a lot of people have found value in this one, and there are alternatives like Cloud App, is that actually people can actually share quick recordings of, could it be a screen recording, a designer sharing some of their designs um, and talking to that design, or maybe you're creating onboarding videos. But today I wanted to show you around the application, a little bit about how I use it, and then maybe talk about the use cases that might be beneficial to you. Now Loom is free as I mentioned, and what I quite like about it is you have up to 100 videos you can store, but you can record as many videos as you want. So for example, if you're sending like 10 a day, uh, there's no actual limit to the amount of videos you can send. And once you've installed it, you can see up here that it appears. You can choose a range of options. So you can start by choosing the screen and camera, and you can choose actually the window that you want it to record, uh, or full screen, so that's everything there. Now down in the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see, you can see myself, that's because I've selected the camera option, because we've got camera. You can have screen only or camera only, um, which is very easy to do. So you can switch between them. My FaceTime camera's not working, hence I've had to add an external one. And also you can connect up a, a microphone as well, uh, whatever one that you have. Now what's cool as well is you can change it to screen only a camera, they work in very similar ways. Um, and what you can do straight away is press start recording. So you can see down here, obviously you can make me a little bit bigger if you wanted. Um, and it starts, it starts recording. So for example, I could be explaining uh, a certain key feature to somebody. For example, I'd be like, okay, um, let me show you how I use this Notion template, for example. So the great thing about it is it has a few annotation abilities. Uh, they're locked under Pro, but I'll talk through near the end. But you can pause it and you can play it, which is perfect. For example, if you want to show multiple apps or maybe moving between apps. Um, but what's great is as soon as you stop it, 
it automatically opens up a link in a window. And what's very cool about this is you can start giving it a title. So for example, I could be like, this is Notion Talk. What it will automatically do is once it's uploaded that video, which actually takes a, a shorter period of time than I originally thought, very similar to apps like Clown App, um, what it will do is it will actually give this preview window and allow you to share it with other people. So all I'd have to do is copy that link and paste it into an email or reply to someone. And what's fantastic about that is they can click on that link, they get this sort of GIF thumbnail to get you started, and they can go ahead and play. It starts. It starts recording, so so you can start to get an idea of it. And obviously, it's, it works like a YouTube video. You can scroll through it. You can react to it as someone who's watching it. And you can even add a password as well. Adding a password is a great way to add a bit more security when you're sharing it with someone specific or you wanted to, for example, give link access. So you can actually make this public as well if you want to. So that will go on your Loom account. So for example, you've had a few tutorials, that could be a good way in actually getting started. Now, before I explain some of the sort of benefits, um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk through what you can do as a viewer. So you can also comment and add timestamps, which is awesome. So for example, if you're actually sending this to a colleague, you can actually go, oh, number 18, I would change this area or this area. And that actually can help that team member to improve. Um, if you're the person that's just created that video and you want to trim it, you can do, you can also go into a settings and choose the access, whether they're allowed to comment, whether you get comment email notifications, whether you can use the emoji reactions that appear down here and whether the viewer can download it, for example. So you can sort of give yourself a bit more access. Now, inside of the pro, you can call to action, which means you can, for example, send a link and then a link to the course right after or a link to your website or YouTube, whatever the call to action is, and create a custom thumbnail as well. So previously, as I said, I used an application called Cloud App. Although this is an alternative, I found that it was good, um, but I was found having some struggles with uploads um, and I actually downgraded and then I finding what I wasn't using it as much. And then Loom came along and I, I found it a bit more friendly, if I'm honest, to use. They're very similar, but uh, it's a Cloud App has a lot more limitations um, to how much time you can film. For example, in Loom, you can film over 15 second screen shares. In Cloud App, you can't. Now, just to give you an example of some of the use cases, here's some of the use cases I use it for. So these are videos um, and they've been from anything from six minutes where I've talked about a specific email. So I've actually gotten an email up and read through it, but also talked over it to sort of explain and, and talk to people. And uh, just copying these links and I can share it with people makes it really valuable. And I could, I've done um, sort of camera screen shares where I've talked to someone. And what I quite like about it is it's very personal and very uh, unique to use. Now, before I talk about some of the onboarding benefits, maybe for a team, I want to talk to you about the pricing because obviously the pricing comes in. Um, as a basic user, it's free. You get, as I said, as many videos as you need, but you can only access 100 of those videos. So you can see that up there, I've used 220 of my 102 video storage. And of course, the last ones gets deleted. Now, if you're wanting it per month, it's $10 month pro. Um, and obviously you get unlimited amount of storage there. But what sort of makes a difference is you get standard quality in the basic, which I think is 480p or, yeah, I think it's 480p because you can get up to 4K on the uh, Mac version and also 720p recording. You do get the camera and bubble on both, but you get drawing tools and custom recording dimensions. And there are a bunch of other benefits like blurring out, adding buttons, custom thumbnails, and more analytical stuff with custom branding, etc. that comes into team plans a bit later on. Um, so that's some of the benefits. And if you want to check that out, it's loom.com slash pricing. Um, but I, I would say the one thing that a lot of people think would find benefit in is, for example, like if you have an internal wiki like Notion, and it doesn't matter whether you have Notion or not, let me just sort of minimize this, uh, if you have Notion or you don't have Notion, you could, for example, use it uh, in a getting started guide. Let's say you want to explain how to upload an article. Well, we've actually done this at Keep Productive and I would have really valued this at previous companies. So you can see here that we've embedded a loom and all you have to do to do that is use a slash command and type in loom 
and embed a Loom recording. Now that's just pasting the link. I've done a full video on how to actually use that. But what's cool is you can embed these like uh, tutorials. So for example, you could say, hey guys, there we so go, how to do it. And once you've done that, you don't have to do it again. So this could save a lot of time with uh, regular employees that are coming in, onboarding for new employees, um, even people who are maybe customers of yours. It's a good way to educate them without having to repeat yourself a hundred times. Now, one of the things that I particularly found um, was annoying at a previous company that I worked at. Um, obviously, th we had a lot of like new employees. I'd say it's not annoying. I'd say it's just something that could have been solved by something like this. Um, we had three new European employees come in every single three months. And that turnout was a fantastic. We met so many great people. But at the same time, re-explaining all of the stuff. Whereas I could have touched the surface with a lot of stuff and got them to watch all the videos um, that would explain it. Now, I did a few videos at that time, but there wasn't a tool like Loom around. So I couldn't go and embed it. And if I had an internal wiki like Notion, I guess I could embed it. But it's really useful as well. For example, like let's say you're um, a designer and you want to be able to like, I don't know, I'm just thinking like, go to the Airbnb website. So if I go here and I was a designer and I was like, oh my goodness, we should um, have a talk to this and say, I, we should have this search bar like this, or we should use the um, the sitemap at the bottom like this. They don't have a sitemap. Or we should steal the way they're using this. Like it's a, a good way to actually talk to something. And I think as well, it has a good human element. I really liked um, using Cloud App before because Particularly, I could actually send stuff to people and what would happen was they would get a sort of sense of who I am and my personality necessarily um, that helped them to interact and improve um, that sort of relationship. So guys, that was Loom. Uh, I'll include all the details and links in the description below. But as you can imagine, it's a really cool application. It's available on Mac. It is perfect for people who want easy ways to share and communicate with their team, maybe that you're remote, or maybe you want to be able to explain stuff in more detail, even if you're sat opposite the other person and you're maybe a bit time poor. So I definitely recommend it for onboarding. I recommend it for creators as well, wanting to engage in their community. And it's a huge time the same for me. So guys, a big thank you. And I hope you found this video useful. If you are brand new and you want to subscribe to Keep Productive, you can hit that button in the middle. And there should be two videos on the outside of this subscription button that you can learn more about other apps. We don't just touch on these sorts of app, we touch on so many more productivity softwares that might benefit you. Anyway guys, big thank you, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers everyone.